Well, hey guys, welcome to Newport Beach. This is the back bay. So this is where you can come and paddleboard and swim around and do all kinds of fun things. Um, you might be wondering why I'm wearing my freediving wetsuit when this is only about four feet deep. You also might be wondering why I have a dead body in a bag here. The reason being is because HGL Tech sent me a thing. This company emailed me and said, hey, Mr. Adams, would you like to test out our product? And I was like, what is your product? And they were like, it is a boogie board with motors. And I said, yes, please send it to me. So it came from China. It's taken a while to get here, but it's finally here. And the water is finally at a temperature where my bits won't fully go inside me, hopefully. Um, or maybe actually that is what I should hope for because the propellers on this thing hang off the back right where you're uh, gentleman area is so uh, yeah we're gonna do a quick unboxing I'll show you it and then I've chosen to start here just in case it doesn't go as I planned if it does go well however we will then move into deeper waters and Jordan behind the camera is gonna be riding the sea doo and basically doing some filming from that so we'll see how it goes this my friends is the HGL Tech Sea Rover it looks like a bodyboard from the front but from the back it looks like two food processors attached to a bodyboard. And uh, yeah, this is basically what we're gonna be ripping around on today. I'm gonna be honest, it looks like a death trap. <laughs> it's either gonna be amazing or I'm gonna die. So this is, like I said, the HGL Tech Sea Rover. So this is from their website. This is what they say. Um, so it has strong power. It has 340N of super thrust. Don't know what N is. Um, it has dual thruster for smooth driving on the water surface. It has spaceship modeling, patented appearance design, long battery life, 60 to 120 minutes battery life, three modes so you can customize your experience, and it has a 2.8 inch TFT color screen, human machine intelligent integration, no, interaction. Uh, and then uh, capture, capture beautiful scenery can be attached to sports camera. So you can actually attach this to a GoPro. You don't attach the GoPro to this, you attach the Sea Rover to a GoPro. It floats, hopefully. Um, you turn it on right here. So we have our little power button next to our 2.5 inch. Oh, actually no, first of all, I have to connect the battery. So let me show you this. So this, which lies about four inches below your heart when you're in the water, is the battery. Um, now it's got some sealant here. So I presume it's somewhat waterproof. Um, I'd hope so because it is gonna be fully submerged. Uh, this is the little connector, so that is now connected. All right, this goes back on. Here's your uh, food processors, so that is what you get your thrust from. And then basically, you turn this on here, and then Jordan, if you come down here, you can see there's two buttons right here. So this is for your modes, this is for high power, so it goes low, middle, high power. And then this right here is your throttle. So you essentially just lay on it and hold this and then pull the trigger. And when you pull the trigger, it does this. <laughs> that's <laughs> and, terrifying. And that's it. That's, go for it, bud. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing for a living. All right, let's see if it floats first. Okay, well, the spaceship design is allowing it to float. And it does have thrust. No, this is what I'm doing. Um, I was joking around in the beginning by kind of making fun of it, but I actually think it's pretty cool. Like, in the right circumstance, you wouldn't obviously want to carry it to the beach because it's so heavy. But if you can like park up or have it like on a boat, for example, and then just 
be able to jump in and like scoot around. Maybe onto something. Yeah, let's go load it up on the sea dew, go out there and go rip it around in some clearer water. Deal. Okay. All right, so we have come to deeper waters. Um, so we're right here in the mooring field. This is actually Jordan's, but oh, this is Jordan, by the way. He was behind the camera now. He's going, going to ride this and he's going to film from this. I am going to hop in here. It's about 14 feet deep, so we can do some diving around and yeah, just kind of see what happens, see how she deals with the slightly deeper water. So uh, stand by, I'll jump in and then we'll take her for a little rip around and try not to get run over by any big boats. <laughs> What's the water temp? I told you it was 59. Cold. I told you it was 59. I looked at it this morning, doesn't listen to me. Okay, she goes. Ooh, that is a nice fresh sun. <laughs> it's very fresh. Uh, all right, let's see, what are we on? Are we on high power? All right, let's do it, buddy. Uh, things uh, a little bit pluckier now. What's up? It's a little bit faster out here, I think. Yeah, it seems it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's fast now. Let's do a speed check. How fast are we going? Five. Five? Yes, right here. <laughs> it, it feels much faster when the water's blown against your nuts like this. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's see if we can dive. I'm trying. It was like free willy, you just breached. It was amazing. <laughs> Did my legs go under that time? Yeah. Okay. Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, you should do this. It's so much fun. Maybe when it's not 59 degrees. Huh? Maybe when it's not 59 degrees. Hello. <laughs> 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 uh <laughs> it's so sketchy. How deep is it here? 14 feet. 14, okay. All right. Let's see if I can sit on it and go. Oh. Nope. Negative. Oh <laughs> 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 well, yeah, I mean... I don't know, I don't know what else I can really do out here. I think we do need to take it somewhere where the water's clear. Yes. Don't have to mess around, yeah, Catalina or something, but yeah. I'll jump back on there, we'll go over to the yacht club, we'll do a proper sign off, and I'll let you know my thoughts on this seemingly death trap like but very fun device. Alright, do you wanna get on this or do you wanna ride to the yacht club and get out on the on the dock, there's a ladder and everything. <laughs> Look, I'm a dolphin. This is special. On a, on a 1 to 10 of elegance, where am I? Am I like a mermaid or am I like a like a floating oil drum? The fact that we're going into the Hoity Toity Yacht Club and I'm coming in. Sometimes you gotta shake things up. Beautiful. This is an interesting dock and dine experience. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> All right guys, well, here it is. The HGL Sea Rover. Uh, I didn't tell you the price, $3,000. Yeah, uh, I don't know that it's $3,000 worth of fun. It is a lot of fun. And I definitely want to try it out somewhere in clear water where I can do some diving, different wetsuit, maybe a weight belt, maybe some fins as well might be cool. Um, I don't know how deep you can dive with it, but there's only one way to find out. So stay tuned, we'll do that in another video. Big shout out to Jordan for uh, filming, rocking the uh, Fish Pro. And uh, yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That really helps with the whole YouTube algorithm thing. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already, because I'd love to see you here again. And remember, you can be a 32 year old single male and not have to be getting married and having kids. You can just rip around on children's sea scooters. <laughs> uh, remember, don't know anything I wouldn't do. See ya.